Hi, this is Apocrypha from ABOC Industries here with episode 29 of the Ashlands. Uh, since the last episode, um, I've had to do a couple of things. Number one, I fully pumped up uh, our uh, steam power station here, um, tore out uh, the old one to move all the infrastructure up. Um, and I also got fed up with not having oil anywhere on my map and uh, went searching. We went searching. We went searching. Boy, did we go searching. We found one small, another small uh, patch here, but that for me still wasn't good enough. So we still went searching. We still went searching. We still went searching, and aha, uh -huh, finally we found a place where there is oil. The other thing which is over here, lots and lots of big worms and biters. So we're going to have to fight our way over to this oil, which means that for now, what we're going to focus on is getting our armory set up, uh, which means that we'll have our armor piercing rounds and, uh, well, that's, that's basically it. Maybe uh, start to kick off our uh, military science as well. Um, yeah, that's, that's where we're at. Uh, steel is all uh, ready to roll. Uh, we still don't have a reliable source of stone. The only stone that we've had uh, going into our uh, stone station has been stone that we've stockpiled while doing exploring with our train. Um, but all of our materials that we need for our armory are all ready to roll. So that is where we're going to start today. And in particular, we are going to start by deciding that our station whoops, is going to be right here. This is going to be our uh, where we take our inputs in for our armory. And I wanted to try maybe looking at uh, setting up something um, running this way because there's not really going to be anything aside from perhaps uh, the military science that we're actually outputting from here. But we can just toss that as uh, one of the, uh, the stations, the, like the actual stations here. We'll just toss that on there. So um, primarily this is going to be a place for me to manually come in and grab materials. So I was thinking that we might look at doing something like, uh, let's see, if we're coming in from the, coming in from the north, uh, being able to have something like this where we will uh, have a pack station um, where all of our construction for uh, ammo and turrets and all that kind of stuff will happen over here and feed down into some place uh, down here where we can actually uh, just pick stuff up and maybe even have a couple of uh, stations here if necessary. <clears throat> I'm not sure what that's going to mean for our signaling uh, because obviously uh, it would be kind of a mess uh, just kind of having it sticking out like that right there. But for the time being, we are going to head over and, um, yeah, let's start taking a look at that. We have some rails. Uh, we might uh, actually probably have enough rails for all of this. Got a, I got a bunch of extra pipes because I was expecting to go through and um, uh, build a bunch of pump jacks and go pump the, uh, the oil, the little tiny one that we had, but we decided not to. 
Uh, but if I wanted to drop off some pipes, where would we do that? Right in here. Right. Cool. Uh, for making our stations, we're going to need a bunch of iron boxes. So we'll go ahead and make a bunch of iron boxes. We're also going to need uh, quite a few filter inserters, I think. The, the unloading stations, they take filter inserters, do they? Yeah, okay. So each of those is going to require some filter inserters. And obviously we don't want to be making electronic circuits. Grab some more inserters. We will eventually be setting up a place where we are making uh, inserters and stuff uh, in greater quantities. Let's just call that all right for now. We're also going to need a few train stations, which, again, we're not going to want to use. Uh, not going to want to make. Uh, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Bear with me. Most importantly, we're just going to slap this in manual and start driving. And hope that we don't run into any other trains. We have also started to see a bit of biter evolution. Um, we've started to see some medium biters, which is super exciting. Not really all that exciting, to be honest. All right, and starting to see some action up here where we expected to see action a long time ago. Uh, so I'm happy that we have our uh, defenses set up. That's fantastic. We're already full on inventory, which we kind of knew was happening. gonna put our ammo in here for now because otherwise uh, all this stone is gonna just fill us up. Okay, so this is where we're going to start thinking about uh, what we're going to need for inputs, and in this case we are going to need uh, iron, copper, steel, and coal. Coal and steel we're not going to need in super high quantities though. So we're going to need some unload left. So this will be iron and copper, steel, and coal. We'll start with that. Oh, we also forgot to grab belts. That's all right. We probably also didn't make nearly enough iron boxes, so that's all right. Okay. 
and swing around one more time. And go in here. And we'll just uh, toss. Uh, this should really be part of the default, but it's not. So great. Uh, so we ran out of red belts. We ran out of um, some other things. That's as expected. We're gonna go to the stone drop off to drop off our stone, and maybe have a think about. Uh, what we want to do for our pack station here. Just like I said, what we'd really like is for this to Can we make it there already. Nice. Uh, what we would really like to do is have uh, a loop. Maybe that might be something that we could potentially also uh, have come in this way. Or the train be facing the wrong way at that point. No, we, this would have to be coming in from... The train needs to be facing north so that we get out on the left side. Right. So that's about as close as we could make it to that signal. Which, again, I don't know if it's a, a good idea or not to have it so close to, to the signal. How long do these need to be for our pack stations, though? Uh, if we take a look at, for example, here, uh, this is apparently not long enough for three train for three cars. That's unusual. This one is. Okay, so let's grab uh, let's grab this as an example of oops, uh, something which is clearly big enough for um, uh, uh, three car thing. Right. So this would be kind of the bare minimum size that we'd be looking at, and then with uh, paths out. So what we can do is grab this, and we can leap this, and find a good spot just for this. Maybe right in between. Maybe. Oh, it's like what is th there's an extra signal there. We don't <laughs> we don't need that. That's confusing. Okay. Uh, so right, kind of smack dab in the middle where that power pole is, because then we could uh, extend this power pole into here. Some power. How do these look coming out? Well, that doesn't look so good. And I assume that would be the same thing on the other side here. No, it's not the same thing. Well, let's, let's hold it up here. It's just one light. What if we remove this one light? How does that look? Hmm. Well, let's give this a shot. We'll see. Uh, it's possible that this is a really bad idea. Um, but if it is, we will pretty quickly find out. We should be able to signal all this properly. 
Alright. Got a bunch of coal. Maybe we can drop that out somewhere. <laughs> Most of these have actually been idle for a while, so <laughs> they're pretty well full on coal. Because we have nowhere to put it. You know? Like we have nowhere to put the resources that are coming in. Okay, we're gonna slap this back on manual. Most of our trains are fairly idle these days. And uh, we went the wrong way. So maybe we'll just loop around here. This is why having trains drive on automatic is good. <laughs> because otherwise just kind of end up going in circles. All right. Let's see how this ends up looking. Yeah, some of the signals are very confused. That's to be expected. Oh no, I didn't put this isn't quite right, is it? Uh, we're gonna call this Armory Packs. We remove this and still be able to fit. Hope so. Alright. Let's see what we can do about adjusting some of this signaling then. The blocks are all confused. All sorts of confused. No, 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 no. We want chain signals. What's going on here? Oh my goodness. And this is not long enough for a train, so it also gets a chain signal. This, however, should be okay. This is already a rail signal. Perfect. This one is long enough for a train, so it gets a normal rail signal. Okay, I think our signaling should be okay there. <clears throat> Perfect. Like I said, I'm not 100% sure that this is uh, going to be the best design for any of this, but it's the design we're going with. We also need to make another trip to our bootstrap uh, to pick up some more belts, probably drop off some of these inserters. We also probably should be putting a radar down there somewhere. And 
of these. We're also going to grab a whole whack of assembling machines because uh, we're going to be doing a lot of assembling. Alright, let's go uh, also make a bunch of trains so that we can start stockpiling some of these materials, and that's where we'll wrap up for today. Let's see. Trains we need. Engines. Engines, there they are. And we're going to need a lot, of, a lot of electronic circuits. And a lot of steel. And also a lot of iron for uh, all the cart wagons. So we're going to need four trains. So one, two, three, four. And then, well, eight wagons to go on it. Perfect. Actually, be nice if we had kept some of the coal that was there, but that's all going down the garbage chute now. Oh well. Because we're also going to have to set up a refueling train. So I guess we'll use that to, uh, you know, do the refueling. We can grab that from here. That is going to go here. I guess we're actually going to need one more train than we thought. We're going to call this Armory Resupply. And we're going to use one of our trains here. A resupply wagon. I don't recall whether it was one or two. It looks like just one. Okay. And this is going to go armory resupply until empty and then uh, some coal pickup until full. And you do need some kind of fuel. What do we have? There we go. Can you make it? Oh, so Hope so. Looks like we're also missing some filter inserters, which is fine. Those are easy to make. And one, two, three, four constant combinators. This is iron plates. You are copper plates. You are steel plates. You are coal. Wonderful. Did we run up undergrounds again? Oh my goodness. We're using a lot more undergrounds than I thought. Okay. That's fine though. Uh, we won't worry about the coal too much, uh, since we don't have a train, we ran out of trains. Uh, we will instead set up the primary three trains that we need for our bullet ammo. And you are going to be iron. And again, we have to click, 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 click. There we go. You are going to be copper. Click, 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 click. go. This is going to be steel, and steel we are limiting to 
uh, one row, I believe, so that each train can only carry uh, 2,000 steel, because steel is just so resource hungry, and we don't really need that much. So there we go. And coal, obviously, we're going to have to worry about a little later. Let's go look up our cheat sheet to see what colors these should be. Which is apparently gone? That's unusual. I had it open on my phone, though, so let's see if it's still there. <laughs> Train colors. All right. Iron plates. Two ten. Two ten. Two fifty five. Two ten. Two ten. Two fifty five. Great. Copper. Two fifty five. One twenty five and eighty five. Steel is going to be 200, 200, 200. That one's easy. 200, 200, and 200. Okay. All right. I guess so. Okay. And you came back with <laughs> you came back with coal, but had nowhere for the coal to go because we ran out of boxes. So there we go. And unfortunately, we're not going to be able to actually supply these because we ran out of undergrounds. That's okay. This is going to be armory. Going in this armory, iron plates drop off. Let's call this iron. We'll call this copper drop off. We'll call this steel drop off. And this one we're going to call armory. We're going to armory. I cannot spell armory apparently. Coal drop off. All right. Uh, so what I'll do between episodes is uh, finish getting these trains set up uh, so that they are actually uh, grabbing supplies and then come back and we can start getting the actual like uh, facility itself built. As always, thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you next time.